those who fought in the Battle of Britain, it was a battle for survival. For the free world, it was a breathless moment in history. For failure would have plunged mankind into a new dark age. Never have so many owed so much to so few. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Tonight I'm doing Spitfire issue 41 and 42. And one of my first co-hosts is... First along the bottom is... Oh, sorry, I accidentally did... I clicked on the wrong button. Oh. I meant to say, call you Dave. Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to Adrian's channel and welcome to this um, little Spitfire. Um, this one this year. So, enjoy. And next person is... Click in the right place. Mark. So, hello, everybody. Welcome to Adrian's live stream tonight of Build the Spitfire. Um, yeah, I believe we're going to have a bit of deja vu tonight. Yeah. And most knowledge about aircraft and buses, Dave Hobbies. Hello, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to Adrian's channel, Builds with Adrian. And um, yeah, we're going to have a cracking build tonight on the Spitfire. It's going to be issue 41, 42. And um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be fabulous. So, tally her. Right, shall we go through the track? And I'm basically in the process changing my yeah. camera angles. Okay. Yeah, I've got the... Dave's hobbies is doing the chat tonight because he's in, let's say, middle of decorating, so we've given him a nice, easy job tonight. Thank you very much. As you can tell behind me, I've got nothing. It's all bare. <laughs> right. Okay. So let's have a look at the chat then. So first in the chat tonight is Justin Summerfield. Hi, Adrian. Hi, all. I want to ask a question, Adrian. Uh, are you going to paint your optical fibres black or not? Okay, so I think we'll have have that first, Adrian, if you want. I'm thinking I'm not going to bother. I think I think the light bleed would be fine enough because most of the light will actually travel through the optical fiber. Mm. Yeah, I'm um, I'm thinking the same as well. What about you, Mark? I'm thinking the same. I don't think it needs it. Yeah, it's going to be one of them things. Wait and see, really, isn't it? When we get the top part of the wing. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but I think we've got a lot more work to be doing to that wing at the yeah. moment than, you know, looking at the optical fibres. Bit, bit early days to tell, really, I suppose, mm. isn't it, Dave? Yeah. To me, it's not a constant light, it's a machine gun, so it'll just be flashing like that, so it must have flashing, flashing there. Yeah. 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 So. yeah. yeah, okay, right, and then the next person is Max Mods. Hello, everybody. Hello, Max. Hello, 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 Mark. <laughs> then we've got uh, as ever uh, our loyal supporters of P40F20. Hi all. Hi P40F20. Hi, Hi P40F20. Hi P40F20. Hi, P40F20. And then we've got uh, me, uh, Dave Hobby. So hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. And then we have um, Penny's Pit Stop. Good evening, all. Uh, got a layover until 10 past 8, so I will be able to watch the start. Hurrah! Hurrah for you, Penny. Thank you. And then um, Penny says, uh, Justin, I don't I don't think uh, they'll need to be painted as there'll be uh, no light bleed. Okay. Okay, let's hope not. Then we've got um, Dano Bills. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dano. I don't know. I don't know. And then we've got uh, Warren James. Hi, all. Hi, Warren. Hi, Warren. Hi, Warren. And then we've got um, Dave Mack. Hi, guys. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. And then we've got uh, Ver Wayne. Hi, all. Hi, Ver Wayne. Hi, Ver Wayne. Hi, Ver Wayne. And uh, another nice chappy, um, John's Model Making. So, Evening all, hope you had a great Xmas and New Year. Evening John. Evening John. And then we've got uh, Chris Davis World. Come on, why aren't you coming up? Chris Davis World, hi all. So hi Chris. Hi Chris. Hi, Chris. I think that might be the last one. Yes, yep. it is that last one so far. Yeah. 
So if I click on Neverman. Right, so I believe I'm starting uh, with issue 41. The whole issue. No, it's not a long issue, is it? <laughs> and uh, we are doing the holders for the optical fibers. Come on. you want to read out that last comment, Dave? Yeah, I can do. So, Chris Davis Wells says, Happy New Year, all. Happy New Year to you, Chris Davis Wells. Happy New Year, Chris. Lots and lots of improvements he's doing for his channel. Yes, he is. Bless him. Yeah. Oh, I think Adrian's having some technical difficulties. Right, okay. <laughs> Well, you know, what would be if we without technical difficulties? The technical director having technical difficulties. Yeah, we'll manage <laughs> somehow. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, um, Chris Davis well says, uh, also, there's a new surprise tomorrow. Okay. Well, well, some of us will be watching tomorrow, Chris. Um, and then uh, Penis Pitsteps says, uh, oops, technical issues for Adrian. Yeah, um, wouldn't be one of our streams if we didn't have some sort of technical issue, uh, would it, uh, Penny? It was quite good last Monday because we had a watch party, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. We had yeah, a watch party and it was really good. Yeah. <laughs> so, you back here, Adrian? Yes, I'm back. Can you hear me correctly? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, I've moved your, your thing up to main, Adrian. Right, do you hear this tapping? Sorry, say that again. Do you hear this tapping pretty loud? Yes. So I was just checking to make sure it's the correct mic, that's all. Right, okay. Right, so issue 41, holders for the optical fibres. Before the stream, I've been busy. I've been going to cut it out and then cut all the parts. Basically. Okay, so your parts check is part one is frame with parts for the optical fiber holders A to D. Right, that's all the parts in there. Yeah. Um, part two is optical fiber grip. On there, yeah, and part three is optical fiber grip. That one there, okay. Uh, we've got a little note. Uh, note that parts 4101 and 4102 are labeled R. The similar parts in issue 39 were L, but labeled L. The parts are very slightly different in shape, so make sure you fit them to the correct wing, okay. Uh, it's nice to say that, just in case you think, oh, yeah, I'll, I can roughly use the same parts from the other one. Yes, they're slightly yeah. different. Yeah, I noticed this one had an R on it. Yeah. Right, so step one is before removing parts from the frame, 4101, note the difference between parts B and part D. Parts B have a peg on one side, while part D has a flat side. See next step. Take care not to cut off the pegs on parts B when you remove them from the frame. Check the fit of the first part over the narrow end of the first part A. Apply a little super glue around the recessed end of part A and fix, in, uh, fix part B in place. Repeat to make two more assemblies. A lot of instructions for one. Yes. Any chat, Dave? Yeah, just a little bit. Um, got to do my Britney Spears, um, Britney Spears uh, lookalike contest now by going. Whoops, I did it again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Same again. This last time, you have a little shoulder joint there, and I'll put my glue around that section there. Yeah. So, at least it was going nowhere near to the fibre entrance. Yeah, basically, yeah. the glue is still a bit wet. Right. 
Yeah, it's just... just push one of those on like so. Done that. Go on to the next one. Again, just push it on. on. Okay, so step two. Hang on, uh, I've just got a third one to do. You've got another one to do. Sorry, I've only done two so far. Right, okay, that's yeah, so three of those are the same, done. Right, okay, so definitely step two this time is take part D from the frame and check the fit on the fourth part, glue in place. Any chat there? Uh, yeah, there's uh, quite a bit of chat coming in. Um, Chris Davis well says, uh, laughing out loud, you, you have to have a laugh. Yeah, you have to have a laugh. Um, spend too much time crying uh, and not enough time laughing and smiling. So, uh, Dave Mack says, any ideas if the next issue is going to be delayed? I believe not because Harshet's distribution centres in the UK. Okay. If you're that's ordering that's... something from Model Space, Diagostini, or Fan Home, then you're going to have difficulties because that gets from uh, Italy. Yeah. So, yeah, they've got to cross a lot of borders, haven't they? Mm. Including ours. So, right, then we've got Christine say, hello, everyone. Hello, darling. Hi, Christine. Hi, Christine. And then we've got uh, P40 F20 saying, ah, the golden tones of Dave Say. Thank you for that, P40 F20. And uh, Dave Max says, hi, Christine. And um, Chris Davis Well says, hi, Christine. How's you? Okay. Right. So, Adrian, that's completed work. Three holders, A stroke B, and one holder, A stroke D, have been assembled. Part C and parts 4102 and 4103 will be used in the next issue. Store all parts carefully until needed. Yep. Okay. And I'll hand it over to uh, Jody Dave. Thank you. We are bidding the optical favour to the late week. Well, the problem is, doing, doing a mirror image, when you get one done, you roughly know how to do the other side. Yeah, so ready for the fourth Yes. Right, 42-1, optical favour, take the two short. Yes. And two. they are both the same length. Two, optical favour, medium. Very hard to see that, isn't it? Three optical favour long. Yeah. Do you know what? I didn't think we might need that one, but time you get it in the aircraft and in the wing. Four, it's about the right length. Four LED on the cable. Yes. One LED cable. Five, three, PWB, two, ten, three millimeter screws, one spare. Yes, there was three. I've already put one spare one away in its pot. And six cable label. Yeah. And the tip, you will need the cords from frame 4101 and the optical fiber grip 4102. Note that these parts are more for event R on. You will also need part 41 or 3. Yes. 
Uh, right, ready for the first port instructions? Yep. Right. Right. Next port C from the 3 and 4101 and the four opera club fibers. Two, yep. two, four, four, one, two, and three. Thread the ends of the fibers at the holes in port C. Note the orientation of the port C. The fibers are flexible, so can we fit it in any order? I want to make sure the whole ends up okay. Well, so to be to honest, I'd put them in a certain I'd put them in slightly tickly order. I always make sure the larger and the medium size are rough together. Then the order roughly come out underneath. Okay. I wouldn't I wouldn't have right okay, the large one one point and the opposite hole to the other two, the medium size one. To me I think that'd be you probably following over another tube of another one. That's my opinion, anyway. I might be wrong. Right, okay. Okay, two. Take the optical fiber grip, 41.3, and thread the ends of the optical fibers into the grip so that part C fits in the end of the grip. No glue is needed. Push the fiber through part C so that they extend about 10 millimeter to ensure that they, are, they cannot slip out. Right. Yeah, well, they slipped out on me. They slipped out on me. Yeah. It's just basically when it's done, make sure that you've got enough there and they're actually further in enough so when you actually start pushing them through, yeah. they'll be the same level. Right. Okay, you're gonna need the wing now. Okay, while he's doing that, I'll bring up the chat and the chat's uh Dave Max says I should get man sometime this week. And then uh, we've got Yorkshire Crafter. Hello everyone. Hello, Julie. Hello dear. Hello, Julie. And then we've got uh, Mike Tedstone. Hi all. Hi Mike. Hi Mike. And then uh, John's model making says, hopefully receive them this week, 43 to 46. Yeah, let's hope so, John. And then um, Chris Davis Well says, hi, Julie, how's you? And uh, Yorkshire Crafter says, hi, Chris, I'm good. Hope you're okay. And then uh, Chris Davis Well says, uh, I'm good, thanks, Julie. So I just got my aircraft down. I keep it on the top shelf. So it's out of the way, sort of thing, so. Okay. Right. Identify the two rear screw solids circled on port 2501, where the fiber grip three will be positioned. Thread the fibers under the bar of port 2501 and the metal port 2601 and fit the recess of port 4103 around the sockets. Right. I know the image is the other way, but I'm working. So I'd have to stretch over the. Um, Actually, no, I think I work the other way. Then I got, and I don't have the pillar in the way. Right. <clears throat> so I'm just dressing these around so they, when they go through, they do go and say it for a certain order. Right. I might as well get four and all. Use a small flat tool such as the flat end of a pair of tweezers to ease the end of the orbital compilers back towards port C so they are flush with the end of the opening of port 413. 
Adrian, why don't you do the trip? Uh, the tip you told me about putting some plastic or something underneath. Well, the way I done last time, I find it pretty easy. I could yeah. do, but it's all like finding something right. Okay. Well, they are tight fit under there because I was done, maybe. Or is it just the pain up it's at the end? Well, to me, if I had a choice, basically, I'd actually I'd rather fit them underneath there without the wing on. Right. That is all under there. Right, there's no just um, a snap flat tool to push the port C for the flush with the end of the port three. Right. Do you know what? actually I'm gonna jump ahead? I'm gonna put my ends on first. Just in case I need to take it apart. So I'm going to see if I can put them on first. I know it's a different order. I know on the first issue I did the correct order, but I'm going. Well, we found that when I when I did mine, didn't we? One of the ends was a bit damaged, and I couldn't get it onto the black bit. Yes. So I'm going to see if they actually all fit on first. Yeah, you had to almost take yours back apart completely, didn't you, Mark? Yeah. To swap it around. That was the technical difficulty I had. If that didn't happen, it would have gone smoothly for me. Right, they all fit on there nicely. Right, okay. Right, same last time. I pushed them in so far. The edge of the tweezers basically. Then, what I did, I actually used the bulb, push it in finally. Okay, I'm just going to bring up this little bit of chat from uh, P40F20. It says uh, you could remove a couple of the screws from the metal wing spar. Okay, and then uh, Chris Dave as well says, uh, you you okay, Mike Ted Stone? Right. They're about four mils sticking out, but and I'd rather use the bulb to push it in the rest of the way. Right. So what is our next step so far? I know they push them cleanly. Okay. Take the cable 4204 and the cable of the able 4206, remove the label from its button and fix around the end of the cable near the connector. Right, here I'm going actually unwinding the cable and I'm going to put the cable tie safely down somewhere so I can actually then use it in a moment to tie the back, cable back up again. So it's, it keeps it nice and safe so the end doesn't get tagged on something. Right. Okay. Did I do that tag? Right. There's the end and there's the label. I'm going to put it about there and turn it over. I'm going to try and marry up the ends together. And if that came, uh, the label fails, you could always print another one on a label maker. Yes. 
Alright, there we go. Okay. Six. Fit the LED on the end of the cable into the open end of the optical fiber group. Right, when you put these in, I suggest you actually put the two wires up and down right, as what they're showing on the image as well. Because you might find we might have to bend the cables over in a later issue. I'd get a PWB screw ready, Adrian. Yes, I was thinking, hang on, let me get them. Get a screw ready. Yeah, I was thinking that. I think, oh, hang on. Yes. Yeah. See what I need. Okay. I won't do the but don't the plastic bit, right? You do the plastic bit as well. Okie doke. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, fiber box is still sticking out a bit, so basically, then I know they all should be the same length. Right, see the other half of the optical fiber group fitted over the cord, the cord and the as indicated. Fix the optical fiber group in case using two PB 2.3 millimeter screws. The flanges on the screws hold the optical grip in place while the screws are fixed stick to the weight frame. Have I left enough room? That's one in. Right, and that's the second screw done. Okay. Okay. Turn the model around so that you can access the leading edge of the right wing. Right, yes. I know I say turn it around, but I'll think I'll work this way if you don't mind. Right. Now, do you do it a different way what the book does? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to do the large one first because we're actually working with it. I'm right-handed, and then I'll put my hand arm over the right engine. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. I'll read it out with the weird series and you do it your with the three optical fiber holders assembled in the previous issue. Fit the first one on the free end of one of the optical fibers, a short one. Do not use any glue. The fiber is a tight fit and will stay in place. Put the remaining optical fibers onto the remaining short fiber optical fiber and the optical fiber 42, the middle length, as shown below, left and the middle. Finally, fit the assembly ED, which has a flat side, on the longest optical fiber. So that's what you're doing before. Yeah, yep. so we you already done so because I knew it would be the long one. Right, where's the next set of instruction? Ten. 
identify the four fixing points for the Brooklyn Flame of Hornets along the leading edge of the right wing in the wing frame, indicated by arrows. Know that the one there, one there, one there, and one there. Know that the fixing point near the end of the ring, blue arrow, has a larger square recess to accommodate the optical fiber holder. Same again, don't get any glue on the optical fibers. Top tip do not get any glue on the optical fibers as will make them brittle and prevent it from carrying the light from the LED. Uh, you're doing step 11 now, aren't you? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm just doing the first one. I'll put some glue on it. Step 11, take the longest optical fibre and fit the flat side of the holder in the D into the recess. The fibre all starts being fitted into a notch in the wind frame 2501, indicated by the arrow. Through the flat side of 4D of the holder into the recess. Fit the pegs on the three holders A B into the remaining three recesses and glue with basic. Again, the fiber sitting notches indicated by blue arrows glue. Right. Same again. I'm using a piece here. While I'm that one setting, I'm going to do the fire one. Clamp that one down. I want to watch this one as well. Right, <coughs> Dave, I've glued that one in. I left the up to fiber for a moment, let them harden down. I'm going to do the far one, clamp that one down. Then I can go back to this up to fiber and change that one in, then do the next one. Yeah, good idea. A, it gives you time for that one to harden off and you're not jigging it about. Yeah. I know it's slightly different order to compare what the instruction says, but to my mind... It works better. Oh, it's, right, okay, you've got a slot. Of... Well, if you've got a moment, right, okay, yes. Okay, and set that one. Go and have a cup of tea. Come back to it. Then do the next one. Sorry, everyone. Didn't mean to knock you around. I never felt a thing. <laughs> right. Well, that's how we now. Right. There's a little notch there, so the optic fiber goes into there and feed down along that channel. If I remember rightly. You'll find a little notch there, a slit higher. You got to feed that pipe down like so. <clears throat> yeah. That's the longest one. That's the shortest one. So the medium size one goes this one here.
and sometimes taking guess of the feel of it going in. Put that clamp on there for a moment. Give it a few seconds. So can you actually feel them parts slip into that hole? Yeah, you got you got to feel the peg actually going into the hole. Make sure you, if you can slightly, slightly twist it, sort of thing. You know, all right, yes, it's gone in the hole. Right, now I'm going to move on to the final one. <coughs> Take that one off there. So it'll give me a bit more room for my hand. Because I use it, I have the peg sticking up while I put some glue on it. Then as I'm moving it around, I'm actually twisting the pipe. Well, I'm twisting the black piece around. So that peg is actually aiming downwards. I'm not liking the... Okay, got them down. I'm going to put the clamp on that one. Problem is, my larger one came out because I probably had to move it because try and get the other one in. So John's model making says that uh, nice clamps, Adrian. I use pegs. Uh, I must pick up uh, <laughs> washing line off the floor next time. <laughs> Laughing out loud. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's why I got my. You just have to be careful because uh, Horlick says exploded on him. At least it didn't hit him though. Yeah, they don't take it too kindly when you're trying to weld metal as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they might, uh, you know, <laughs> melt a bit. Yeah. Well, that needs to be on a bit more, but we need to. I'll keep that one pegged down a bit more. So. Well, Step yeah. 12. Get the battery box 1203. So check that it's turned off. Connect the testing board 1202. 1202 to the battery box. Connect the LED cable 4204 to the LED socket on the testing board and turn the battery box off. Turned off. Right, okay. Now it says, the optical fibers carry the light from the LED to the tip of the pipe on the corner on the leading edge of the right wing. When you have tested the lights, turn off the battery box and disconnect the cables. Right. While I'm testing them, basically, I only plugged this cable in so far. There's no point in you trying. We're going to... Right, yeah, yeah, it's good. In all the way, because then you've got to try and get it back out again. Right. Oh, yes. Because I unplugged it all the way in. As you can see, still, still, still lighting up. Right. Super, super duper. I'm going to turn my light off a moment. And turn. Wow. There we go. 
got four nice looking lights there. Brilliant. And that's it. While I am about it, actually, give me a sec. I'm going to turn. Well, to be honest, I don't think we'll. No, let me just, just reach behind me. Put myself in total darkness. I don't think we might get a light bleed through that. No. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Wow. You've always been worried about toy light bleed. It could be how 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 thick it is and, and the colouring of the plastic. Yeah. Okay, that's it complete. Okay. Um, your next port uh, will be issue covered in issue 43 will be ports for a landing light an article light for the wing tip plus an LED cable and cable label are there uh, little red bits that you can see uh, you just should be thinking that's a bit yep or is that just a label? It could be a label. Yeah, yeah, it's a label. Yeah, that's a label. That looks like a some kind of wing light holder could be. Yeah. That, that could be a that could be a little red wing tip light. Yeah. Yeah. That looks like there's a little so it says ports for a landing light, so there's a landing light, a nautical light for the wing tip. With an LED cable. Yeah. So one of them is a wingtip light and one's a landing light. Yeah. So I would say the white one's probably the landing light and the red one's the wingtip. Yeah. Yeah, that could be the wingtip. And that there section could be for fitting the um, landing light. Mm -hmm. mm. Now I reckon, where, I reckon where the landing light might go. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to find out in the next issue. Yeah. Because I reckon the landing light will go in that position there. Yes. Yeah, could well do. Yeah, it looks like the shape, doesn't it? Yes. Jolly good. Okay, we've got a little bit more chat. Um, and Josh Crafter says them orange bits are dangerous, <laughs> referring to the clamps. Yeah, or, or either that or you're referring to a chocolate orange. <laughs> then you've got Dave Mack uh, looking good, Adrian. So, yes, uh, just is looking yeah. good. Win. Yeah, it's pretty simple. It's basically doing the first one was working and do it and doing the second one is slightly I find it slightly easier than roughly all this one's slightly awkward because yeah the one of the octafibers look a bit short to me. Yeah. Yeah. So they all went seem to go in the grooves all right though, didn't they? Yes. Yeah, jolly good. Yeah, jolly good. So I'm just quickly unplugging the circuit board. A uh, little bit more chat. Um, John's model making says, excellent job, Adrian. Thank you. And P4TF20 says, nicely done, Adrian. So I just had to quickly find the blister pack because okay. I keep my battery pack in its blister pack and it's um, just it's share, nice safe. Share the, just share a screen that I've uh, found. Okay. So that's where things are on the wings. Uh huh. So, right. The landing lamp's going to obviously be there. 
Mm -hmm. So that's towards the flap of the spit yeah. tire. Just about exactly where uh, Adrian said it might go. Yeah. So, but just for everybody out there who's wondering where the uh, where the, where it's going. Yeah. Dave Max says, um, whereabouts is the main motherboard going uh, as the engine cable looks to be uh, too small, a bit too small? Um, I reckon we might get an extension cable for that. Yeah, it'd be like the end cable, end cable on the route master. Yeah. We got sent like... an extension cable, then we got sent another extension cable. Yeah. And then John's model making says... Um, what, what do you think uh, will be the power source battery wise? Triple A's. I reckon triple A batteries. Triple A's. Yeah. 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 All, two, all two tape batteries, which are 30 quid. Yeah, let's hope not. No. Well, then we've got uh, P40F20 says, Great show tonight, Eagle Squadron. Thank you very much. And uh, be chocks away for next time. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I'm happy with that build. Mm. Yeah. At least each issue is always something different. At least I roughly, own, I done one half, it's yeah. the other half thing. All right, we're roughly done. It's just now a mere image. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, just doing yeah. the same ones, yeah. You've got to think, though, how heavy is this going to be? Because the back of the Spitfire has to be heavier than the front. Yeah. It fits the way it sits on that little back wheel. Yeah. But it's not going to sit on the back wheel, is it? Well, no, it's going to be, it's going to sit on the base. But, I mean, depends yeah. if everybody's doing the base. Some people are yeah. just doing the model and don't want to do the base. That's right, yeah. So... That's good. You want it on the base, it's going to be lifted off the ground because their wheels are not going to be properly Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, cause if they want a statue this model, yes, they're going to need it like a stand. They can't, I reckon you won't even have it sitting on the wheels. Yeah, I reckon so. They're not strong enough to hold it. If they're going to be made of metal, yes, but they're made of plastic. Yeah. 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 Of that yeah. Well, Probably, probably even another route master, won't it? It's not designed to sit on the wheels. Yeah, no, no. But, um, yeah, I mean, I know, well, we do know Horlix isn't going to do the base, didn't it? Because uh, he wants to hang his from his ceiling. Yeah. So, so a little bit more chat, and uh, we've got Mike Tedstone, uh, Chris Davies. Well, good, thank you. You okay? Sorry, only just caught the message, and then. Um, Yorkshire Crafter says, been watching and uh, kitting up for my next diamond painting, 70 by 60 centimetres. Wow. That's going to be a massive wow. one. Well, let's just say it's from Smith Speeds. Ah. And it'll be shown on Wednesday. That's all I'm telling. Brilliant. I'm not Jolly saying good. anymore. Jolly so good. I might, you'll have to tune in for that one. Yeah. Definitely on, on Wednesday. Can't have it work. Uh. P40F20 says that the model is not designed to support itself on the landing gear. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. He's going um, to put that on the ceiling. It's going to be so weird, maybe. Yeah, it is. It is yeah, but um, I mean, I've, I've hung the uh, Millennium Falcon from the ceiling, and that is very heavy. So. I'll get him some 50 pound fishing line. <laughs> Chris Davis well says I'm good thanks Mike Tedston okay right so I'll do YouTube announcements yeah on our nice sheet which is now colour coded it makes my life so much easier yeah so tomorrow evening at 8 o'clock we have Chris Davis world and he's doing Hector 1 issue 3 stage 6 Okay. Uh, uh, and that's at 8 o'clock on Chris Davies' World. Uh, Tuesday, we've got Bailed with Adrian. And he's doing the Ferrari F40 issue 25 to 26, but that's at 7.30, so it's at an earlier time. Um, and then on Wednesday afternoon, 
Uh, we have Paint with Penny, sorry, Penelope Pit Stop and Yorkshire Crafter. And they're doing their Paint with Diamond show. Um, so that's two o'clock and that's on both their channels. And then Wednesday evening, we've got the part work show with Penny's Pit Stop. And that is at eight o'clock, and it says Root Master issue one hundred and six. Wow. Okay, and then Thursday is doing is going epic. It's Horlicks this this week. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday evening, Horlicks will be live at eight o'clock, and he'll be doing Root Master one hundred and twenty and one hundred and twenty one. Jolly good. And that's eight o'clock on Horlicks's channel. Then on Friday, I think this is depending if he gets his parts. Um, he's going live at eight o'clock uh, with Spitfire five and six. Well, that's all depends if you can get a reissue on number two, right? And then Saturday okay. evening at the moment, it would be Horlicks, but that's to be confirmed, okay? Okay, um, and then on Sunday, it's me, and I'll be doing Spitfire issue 41 and 42 on my channel, excellent. And there we go. And what I'll do is I'll put the uh, file in the chat and then everybody can see it. Okay. Thank you, it, Matt. Is a lot, it is a lot to remember. Yeah, it's a lot to remember. So, yeah. And we've got a little bit more in the chat from John's Model Making. And it says, uh, recently signed up for the Ferrari F40. How good is the build? Question mark. And, uh, and the next one is... Um, the spreadsheets uh, of what's which uh, Max just read out of what's happening in the next week. Yeah. So. At the moment, I'm doing the engine. I find it so much. It's pretty simple, basically pushing together. But my next two issues, it's going to be slightly tricky because I'm really doing some pipe work on the engine. No. Yeah. It's understanding. Okay. Yes, this pipe goes there. It depends how well you understand reading instructions sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it's anything like the Ecto one, you'd be crying at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> that Ecto one piping. Oh, dear me. Even Penny yeah. said, yeah, that's a bit excessive. Oh, dear. But the other one does look nice. <laughs> yeah, there is there is two issues, two lots of piping. That's why I'm not doing all four issues. I'm going to do two issues. Yeah. Take a break and cover the next two issues because uh, my next lot of issues won't be coming until February. Then at least it's a bit of content in between now yeah. and then for the next four issues to come through. Yeah. yeah. Well, like I said, unless um, you're getting it from uh, Dear Gostine in Model Space or Fan Home, there shouldn't be delays. Shouldn't. No. Or being well, fingers crossed. Um, yeah. But I have had a letter from uh, Dear Gostini saying <laughs> that my X Wing is going to be uh, late getting to me because of the borders being shut. Yeah. So we'll just see what happens. Yeah. Well, my fire, you know, quite a while coming to me because you'll find it was basically tired of holding the Christmas post. Yeah, but you were waiting for your Ferrari for nearly seven months, Adrian. Yeah. I mean, waiting seven months on a part where um, you must have the patience of a saint, <laughs> honestly. Well, it didn't bill me for it, basically, so... I know, but seven month delay, blow me neck. <laughs> uh, probably, you find, it was probably, don't forget, it was probably down in lockdown. They, they had to shift out a load of parts to the UK, probably, where they're made. And actually, they cover so, so many issues. Goodness knows, but that's a long time to wait. Yeah. So. Even if you had bought them in the shop, basically, they were delayed in the shop as well. Yeah. So. But, yeah, sounds fun. Yeah. Are you coming on Tuesday's live, uh, Dave? Uh, Tuesday's like I, I may do. I may, it just depends on how I get on in here. Yeah. Oh, okay, because I've got quite a lot to do. Oh, well, yeah, I know. I know you got a lot to do. We'll just keep you, yeah. do, you doing the chat then. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll. I think I'll, you have to prepare for anything. Yeah, <laughs> well, that'd be good. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, if I'm helpful to do the chat, yeah, then I'll come and do the chat. 
I don't know much about the build, you see, so... No. But, um, Even Mark, he didn't know much about the build, but... No. But he's, yeah. eating some, he's eating instructions. Yeah. So, I like doing that camper van. I've learned how to build a VW engine. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, well, I'd much rather do the camper van than the, the Ferrari and Corpy. Now, that, that sounds a bit sad, doesn't it? But... <laughs> <laughs> I think Pete RTF twenty would agree with you on that one. Yeah, quite possibly. Yeah. yeah. And he's probably thinking, please just stay on for a little bit longer so I can get my cuckoo clock song out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't end the stream. <laughs> possibly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there she goes. There it goes. Shoot that cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm definitely not getting one. It'll send the dog nuts. Yeah. He's already crazy. Especially you... when it's popping out all the time and it's going cuckoo. <laughs> oh, dear. we <laughs> get used to this. Pardon? we we'll get used to this. Well, yeah, probably, but oh, I don't yeah. fancy every hour a cuckoo clock going back instead of a uh, cuckoo. <laughs> I tell you what, <laughs> ruff, 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 ruff. you probably yeah. clip your ass up to it once or twice and then that's it. Yeah. Um, I thought when we got I wasn't then when I got Jess, I thought, oh, because she's she's a bit of a she has any noise she goes it and she just sort of looked at okay. it, looked at yours and said, Well, that's out. <laughs> hey, yeah, have... probably blocked it the first time and after I think <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> so there we are. Then there's the cuckoo song, and it's um, when the cuckoo comes marching home again. Hurrah, hurrah! We'll give him a hearty welcome. Then hurrah, hurrah! Da 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 da. -da. Yeah, you could have carried on with that one. So and then we've got David Bassett. Good evening, folks. Uh, cuckoo sits in the old gum tree. Merry, merry king of the stream. He is, is he? Yes. Yeah, it certainly is. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Right, let's <laughs> say our goodbyes going backwards. Okay. Actually, you slightly changed order at the bottom, so. Yeah, I, I, I got the yeah. by accident. <laughs> what, did you do a penny? <laughs> <laughs> Goodness knows. Right, it was okay. Well, it's a goodbye from me. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight on Adrian's stream. Thanks for inviting us tonight, Adrian. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure as always. And um, join us again for the next stream, which will be along, uh, which will be in the chat there for the uh, for everybody's stream. Give Adrian a nice good thumbs up, and uh, we'll catch you later on. Bye bye now. And it was. Yeah, it was me, yeah. uh, so thank you everybody who has watched tonight thank you for all the great chat and interaction for adrian he really does deserve it and what a fantastic build adrian has done tonight so please hit that thumbs up button and give him a like so goodbye from me and be dave yeah thank you for joining us tonight um it's been a really good stream again um um, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to everybody in here and anybody else in the chat. So a good night from me. Yep, yeah, and thank you for watching my channel and commenting my show. I I hope you all had a new nice new year. And of course, this will really probably in the future other people might be watching. You might then you realise when this broadcast was done. I'm going now. I'm going to play the outro. It's goodbye from all of us. Goodbye. Come on.